Welcome to another episode of my 900 megahertz testing. I thought I had nothing that would uh, properly receive at 902, but uh, then I remembered my Yaesu VX1, which is a uh, dual band uh, HT, micro HT with wide band receive. And I've had this for over 20 years and it will receive at uh, 900 megahertz, the entire 900 megahertz amateur band. And uh, it doesn't have very good receive sensitivity there, but it's probably better than the commercial radios for 900. Because uh, those have front end filters that won't allow them to, uh, to receive at 902. Which is the repeater inputs, by the way. And the reason I want to do that is I want to uh, build an experimental uh, 900 megahertz repeater. And this might possibly be a, uh, a temporary receiver for that repeater. So I have it uh, tuned to 902.5 and uh, I have my TK481 here tuned to 927.5 repeat repeater so I don't have any 902 simplex frequencies programmed into it because uh, it won't receive down there anyway but uh, this will do the same thing 927.5 repeat function transmits at 902.5 so by doing that I can uh, see what's going on and this is uh, another little actually the uh, the ground plane ground radials are the same ones I used in my, uh, my trip to Smoky Mountains where I made my first 900 megahertz contacts and uh, I just made a different little stubby antenna to fit into it also just a quarter wave ground plane and uh, by the way, this is 460, 460 to 470 uh, megahertz, little homemade ground plane. And that is for the transmit side of my GMRS repeater. Believe it or not, with 5 watts in this hilly terrain, it gets out about 5 miles with this inside the building. I'm, uh, I've got a better antenna coming and I'm going to push it up higher and of course I'm also going to use better feed line than this RG58 coax I'm using now but uh, anyway this thing is being powered by my little jump box that I've had for quite a few years and is still working now uh, Let's try this. Test, test, test. I think I need to turn the volume up on the receive radio. Under a 